what do you guys take out of that? I think the most important thing for us is we we got a lot of young people in the club like this year. We're trying to really build the club from the ground up. In the past, we've relied a bit at Pia, since I've been there anyway. As a player, we've relied a bit on the, you know, the older players, and I've really been the coach this year. I really wanted to rebuild the, the juniors in the club. So for me, what I take out of that game was I saw a lot of young players who, had, for the first time in their lives, have had to play against professional, the, the highest level of rugby league. And I was quite happy with some of the young blokes. Uh, for us, like, we, we, we were realistic. We didn't come here with expectations to you know, that we were going to try and kill Wigan or anything like that. I really just wanted to, I hoped that the team would re- stay together, give it their all and just see what, you know, some of the young blokes can do, really. It's an occasion, not like a learning curve, an occasion to, for them to put down on the CV. Yeah, it is. It's, it's um, Believe me, there's a lot of happy guys in there. And you should, normally, after you've copped 70 points, you wouldn't be very happy. But for the, a lot of them, it's their first taste of a professional a really professional game of rugby league against a well-drilled team, stronger, faster, fitter, and it's it's a great it's a great thing for the players. Obviously, from what you just said, your guys have enjoyed it. But is there a danger that something like that could set them back? I don't think so. I think I think for us, because you know, playing in the French competition week in week out, there there I would say there's probably two two or three real like quality teams, and then. The rest are very inconsistent. It's up and down. You know, we have one week where we will flog someone, the other week. So, well, for me, that game was like the best possible training I could ever give a team. Really, I, I would much rather do that than have to get them on a football field against no one and put them through drills. I think it was great for them. Interesting to see they back up in the next game. It will be interesting, but it will be very interesting. But we pulled through it without like any major injuries or anything, which is another good thing for us because we have our um, semi-final coming up in two weeks. And that's, a, that's just a straight knockout, straight into the final if we win. So that's our focus, and uh, I think that's done us a lot of good. It's more about the players, what about the coach? What was his feelings, uh, pitting his wits against someone like Noble? Yeah, well, uh, I, I hope I did well in the mental chess match that went on between the two. Um, for me, it was, like I just said, for a lot of the young guys, it was an experience for them to play. I, I played in Australia, NRL, and, and all of those things, so... but. This is my first year as a coach, I said, so it was a great experience for me also to just to just come and I was watching Wigan before, you know, in the warm-ups and the things like that, just noting a few things to myself, you know, just trying to always learn and, um, yeah, as a someone, like, I've got aspirations to hopefully go on with a coaching career after because I'm still playing at the moment, but I'm injured as player coach and it was a great experience for me as well. I'm very happy to um, have brought a French team over here and play a Super League side. Would you have loved to have been on the pitch with them? I would have loved to be on the pitch with them. I'm, I'm, I'm shattered that I wasn't there. I, I still do love playing with the guys and um, I, would have, yeah, I would have loved to be there, but that's how it is. We've been hit with a lot of injuries this year, so that's the life. I wish you success and thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.